Hey buddies, Potatomic Whiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Stone Hearth. Now, we're jumping right back into things where we left off. We're still in the process of building our carpenter's house. Um, we're only going to want to need probably one carpenter throughout the game. Although, having said that, I do believe if I find my carpenter... Uh, is it you? No, where is my carpenter? It can be a little bit hard to tell them apart. I'll use the, um, the citizen thing here. Sips, there you are. I believe they can actually, if they go up here to the change jobs, yeah. Okay, so carpenters can't actually upgrade, but we, so we're going to want to probably keep this guy as a carpenter for most of the game. But for example, herbalists can promote to clerics, uh, footmen can promote to knights or archers, uh, masons can promote to potters and so on and so forth, uh, farmers can promote to cooks, and trappers can promote to shepherds. Uh, and we can get weavers also. So there's quite a few jobs that we can do. And you can see our footman is protecting our town on patrol. They like to patrol around stockpiles. They like to patrol around farms. They like to occasionally patrol around workbenches. So they generally just spend a bit of time going around and making sure everything's clean, everything's safe, everything's cool, nobody's in danger. Um, okay. So we're waiting here for some of this construction to be done. We can speed all this up and they'll just quickly get through it. But I just, I love the um, the aesthetic and I love watching them like build these houses. Not a, not quite brick by brick, but almost, almost brick by brick. Um, it's really just wonderful to see. And there's little things you can do like uh, this out, this extra little indent out or out dent, I suppose where you can add a little bit of personality to the houses. And we're going to experiment with some building stuff. We're going to have like a varied, hopefully a varied town at least. That's the plan, right? Uh, looks like everyone is ready to go eat and they should use these tables. They like to eat on chairs um, for some reason. Maybe it's just more comfortable for them. Uh, looks like someone put a piece of wood in here to start a fire. They like to have uh, light at night as well. There is a trait actually for the hearthlings that lets them be, uh, kind of be more active at nighttime and some of them will sleep during the day for example, which I thought was a pretty cool mechanic. All right, so we're just doing the final touches on this building here. Looks like the exterior is built. Looks like there's a little bit of work to be done on the interior. Um, the tidying up the ladders and scaffolding and such. So these are starting to fill up with some furniture. That's good. I wonder why nobody has placed this uh, workbench back down. Let me see if I can discern. Uh, if I unclick this, well, there is one here, but nobody's placed it for some reason. Uh, I think somebody's going to do it now. Ah, there we go. Excellent. So now these are placed. They're going to be usable. And they should start, you know, working on carpentry stuff again. Because there's, there's a lot of stuff to get done. Ah, so he has become a level one farmer. Which will, in fact, open up the opportunity for more farms. Uh, which is what we're going to do right now. So let me grab these farm tools. And it'll be a 5 by 11 And this one is going to be silkweed. We're going to want some cotton as we get through the game here. He'll get to work on that in the morning. You see my footman getting ready to go patrol that. Carpenter. I wonder why he's not grabbing the wood from here. That should all eventually be tidied up away as, uh, as things progress. Looks like somebody's doing a bit of mining over here as well. Ooh, 
there's just something really relaxing and enjoyable about this game watching your little your little dudes run around and watching buildings be built and stuff be manufactured and all that sort of thing oh man you carry a lot right oh yeah this is the uh the pack mule guy he can carry a lot of stuff you look at his backpack he's just filling up with wood that's really awesome it looks like people are hungry perhaps um, we are going to need a second farmer here pretty soon. Uh, speaking of which, actually, let me go ahead and grab open this thing. And I will, in fact, craft a farmer's hole. It looks like we've got a daily update. We have enough food and net worth to get another heartling. So Alex Lessel has joined. So who and what are you, Alex? So let's see. He has a decent mind, so he's good at crafting. So he looks like a good crafter. Um, I think we'll make him our mason. If we go into here, we are going to... I think I sold my mason hammer and chisel, so we're going to want to make another one. Um, <laughs> uh, herb. Oh, we do need some herbs, actually. But uh, we, we'll, we'll worry about those as we get more people. Right now, I think we're in a decent position. We do need a bed over here. I think there's one on the way, right? If I go in here and I check... Uh, yeah, there's a bed on the way to being crafted. So it looks like some of these turnips are ready to harvest. You can look into here in his backpack and you can see he's picking things up. I think it's a certain amount you have to harvest before it actually turns into a, a basket of food. But he's a busy farmer. He should start. He should start uh, getting these done more effectively now soon. Um. Aha! So we've got more wares to buy and sell. Uh, nothing here really appeals to me. I will sell these fine lanterns because they're worth selling. I will sell these fine writing desks and these fine chairs. I like to sell my fine stuff. It um. It's just nice to be able to buy things. Uh, I don't need to buy any of this stuff, although let me see, do I have enough stone? I do have an abundance of stuff, so I don't need to get any of these in particular. Okay, looks like my hearthlings don't have enough jobs. So I'm gonna grab someone here. Someone who is preferably, yeah, a glutton, I'll change you. You're not particularly good at much. Um, so you'll make a good, a good farmer. That's our second farmer, which means we'll be able to extend this farm out a little bit. In fact, actually, I will uh, I will harvest these few trees here. Make a little bit more room for our farm. We have plenty of room over here, but I want the farm to be over here. Um, we're going to want to... Okay, so we have three beds for eight hearthlings. That's not good enough, actually. We're going to need some more beds. Um, we don't We don't quite have the ability to make a cook yet that will be something we look into soon uh what do we need perhaps we have a carpenter we're gonna want a mason's a mason shop here soon and we do have a tunnel over here and sort of thing um we might make a worker house i tell you what we will do that we'll get started we'll make a worker house just for having a a place for people without a job to sleep have unassigned beds essentially uh, so it will look like this the front of the the front door of the worker house will go here i think that seems reasonable we'll stick the floor down like this we'll have a be a slight out dent um just so we can properly arrange things we're gonna want five beds in here i think just to as a I think having five workers is like a good number. So let's go in here. Five beds. Um, one, two, three. Uh, let me actually move this over one. I like to have, I like, you know, I don't know why I do this, but I like to have things be fairly symmetric. Um, it's just something I, I enjoy is, is when things are a reason, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, a reasonable amount of symmetry in a, um, 
in a in a in a in a town is nice. I, it just it just really it looks nice, you know. One, two. Well, they'll have little chests for their possessions, although they they don't actually have possessions, so it's kind of like just just for show. Um, this is going to be a So I'm going to want a little bit more room on that frontal area. I'm thinking two extra. And that should have room for a door then um, if I go out of here. But I don't want to put the walls up yet. I want to add a little bit of pizzazz perhaps in the form of maybe a, maybe a little window here. And then we'll do another one here. Um, I think I wanted that to be six, right? Yeah. And then we'll add a little. Just add a little add a little bit of shape to the house, you know? Make it look a little more um exotic and more organic and less uh we'll put up the walls so you can see how it looks. It's a little bit more computationally taxing and harder to pull together, but it, it you know it looks nicer, I think, to have our your walls be a bit uneven. It makes your roof kind of I don't know, it makes the roof just feel a little bit more organic. Now this roof, um, I want to put the, the doorway in actually, and I'll make, make this a, I can't quite fit a big door in there, but I'll, I'll fit a small door. And this is just basically a sleeping quarters, just so people aren't sleeping on the ground, uh, which will mean quite a few decorations are in order. So I'm thinking a nice tall window here and here two nice tall windows and then perhaps a nice wide window in the center about there that's nice and then we'll do another window over here another window oh those are not the same size those are definitely not the same size um can i undo a lot of this stuff Okay, so I need to make some modifications here because I screwed things up ever so slightly. There we go. That should work. Okay, so let's grab the windows again. We'll put a tall window here. We'll put a tall window here. Um, and we'll just do a little, we'll put little diamond windows here. Um, one over here. Uh, then I suppose there's no harm in putting a wide window right there. Uh, we want to put our door down, so I'm thinking a door right there, and then um, we'll put just little, little dainty windows right here and right here, and then that'll be that'll be a nice little um, dormitory. We are going to want a roof, but I want to make it more chocolate bistro. Yes, I like that. Um, I'll make it quite a low roof. I'm thinking because we want it to look more like a kind of workhouse, so maybe just too high. Make it look more like a, um, a less inviting building, essentially. Uh, we're going to want a little bit of decoration, actually. So let me saw away these walls. I'm thinking a couple of lights in here. Just to brighten things up a little bit for the guys. And then on the doorway outside. I think a couple of those and then I suppose we could put a little benches underneath the windows to give them somewhere nice to sit and then eventually I, w I would like to put flowers down as well but that's not really an option uh yeah and that's gonna be this is gonna be it this is gonna be the we're gonna finish this this is gonna be the uh, sort of worker house we'll call it that the worker house and we'll build it so that should be that. I think, uh, yeah, it's got five beds in it. Which should cover the rest of the population. Oh, I need to... Did I assign this bed to... Yeah, Sips. So this is Sips' bed. Okay. And then I want to assign this to my... Oh, invaders. Okay, so we're going to want to ring the town bell. And we're going to want to put the defensive flag over here so the footman gets ready. Everyone's going to be at the town hall to fight. They're just little tree gnomes, entlings. I mean, the footmen could probably handle it on their own. I want you to go over here. I don't want you to fight them on their own. It's just quicker. It's just faster if they everyone fights. Um, 
and give it to footman. Although, you know, there is something to be said for letting the footman level up uh, under their own steam. You see the footman getting some experience from killing stuff. Got a little bit, of, almost a full level. So we can take the town off alert mode now. And everyone should get back to work to what they were doing. Um, so what was I doing? I was doing something. Right, I was assigning this bed to my second farmer. Where is my second farmer? Here we go. So Mel Bendel. So now we have three assigned beds and then five unassigned beds once that secondary house is finished. Um, so Mel is doing a little bit of planting. Looking good. We've got this getting harvested away. Little road getting dug out. I, you know, the road isn't necessary, but I think it just makes it look a little bit nicer. <laughs> Carpenter is going to work, which is good. Awesome. I love how they carry around the material that they're using for building in their hands as they build. Um, it's just something wonderful about this game. We've got two little benches now and people should should use food. Actually, something we will do in this dormitory um, that I'm going to want to do. I'll stick a... No, we'll, 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 we'll wait on that front. I'm going to want a dining hall or something of that nature eventually. This is just a quick and dirty worker house. Oh, this bed should not be there. I don't know how it got moved over there. Some of these things are weird. Ah, you're level four. So you have maximum health has increased and you have extended catalog. Oh. So what are these more elaborate projects? Let's see. Hmm. Ah, leather bound chest is one of these. Extended catalog type things. But the extra health is actually pretty nice because it means he's harder to kill. Uh, if you look at the... Where do I see HP? <laughs> Let's see, what are you again? Do you have a high spirit? Yeah, so the body is how much health you have and then the spirit is how fast your health regenerates. So basic combat training gives you what? So basic combat training gives you five health and lowers your chance to flee. Cool. So your damage will go up and then you'll get faster and then you'll get special attacks and then you'll get another bonus damage and then you'll get a cleave and finally Big damage boost. So it's really, it is really good to level up your footman. Oh, speaking of which, it's about time we went in here and we had a look at some of these guys. Maybe find a crafter. So Alex Lessel would be a good crafter here for me. Um, although you want to be a mason, so let me have a look at your job. And the mason, no, you want to be our blacksmith. So. That settles that. Alex Lessel will be our next crafter because he has the crafter happiness thing. So we'll change your job to Mason. And we're gonna want a Mason house somewhere over here near this stone. Although the exact position of things isn't super important because you can always just move stuff around. Um, <laughs> I mean, it costs worker time, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, so I think I will extend the amount of farms I have. Slightly. And I'll go turn up. And then I'll go carrot. And that'll be those. I'll just slightly extend the amount of farms I have because, you know, you could always use more food. And plus these guys, they weren't, uh... They weren't busy enough yet, right? <laughs> um... Okay, so we have a fine door that we can sell. We have some, we actually have a couple of fine pieces of furniture. Uh, nope, nope, never mind, I was wrong. 
So defenses and decorations go in here, whereas furniture and doors. And then this gets filled with wood. So I think this is a pretty reasonable setup we have here for our carpenter. Uh, looks like that bed was just a bug. <laughs> a bed bug. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a terrible joke. All right. Um, yeah, it looks like we had a little bit of a bed bug. <laughs> um, so those beds are actually getting placed just perfectly fine. I'll speed up time here. I love, oh, look at them. Oh, they were working in sync there for a second and it was really cool. They're doing some harvesting. Didn't seem like they got any value out of it, so they should go planting the crops now. Oh, look at this. They're doing like a ripple. Boom, 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 boom. Ripple. It was really cool. They were ripple firing off some plants. They should get to work again. Nice one. And, th and that's that's something that I find really useful about farmers. I, pro I think I talked about it last time is when they're not... Um, when they're not too busy, they'll run around and they'll clean up your town. They'll pick up wood and they'll deposit it where it needs to go and stuff. Uh, looks like these guys are going along just fine. Just great news. Looking great. Looks like some people are heading to bed already. Let's have a look through some of the moods of our people. So let's have a look at Sips. How are you feeling? So he's content. Now, they're not too happy about the raw meals. So that's something we have to be careful about. And they're going to lose their settling in things soon. Um, again, raw meals. So they're, they're kind of just kind of, you know, they're kind of just, yeah, I'm not too upset. Um, we do have a plant lover. Um, which is great. It means this person's going to be fairly happy because they get to work with plants all the time. Um, loves their job. Aha, the footman. The footman should be a little bit happier, although they are having shared rooms and shared beds. Although, are my farmers a little bit... Ah, the farmer, they don't like having shared rooms. And they don't, they don't like shared rooms and shared beds. Which is something I hadn't considered for the farmhouse, so I would have built these as individuals. So we have a new trader uh, passing by. If you're interested, you make me six. Ooh, three comfy beds for six wooden window frames? Let me put that order in immediately. Six wooden window frames. I want you to craft six of those bad boys. Or maintain six. Daily update, new hearthling? Yes, we get a new hearthling. So Mel Wester. And what are you, Mel? Ah, Mel is an animal companion and a pack mule and actually has really, really good stats. So Mel is pretty happy because they are a pioneer. Hmm, they just left chunks of wood up on the house. <laughs> oh my God, all those lazy hearthlings. Um, so over here is probably where I'm going to put the orchard eventually, where I'm going to grow oak trees just to have a wood supply. Um, so the next big thing is probably going to be upgrading to a mason. We have a mason already, I think. Let me double check that. Oh, we need to craft the actual mason workbench. Uh, so we'll, we'll craft a mason workbench for now. They should run off and build that up now in a moment. Where are you? Ah, the mason, right. <laughs> And then I'm going to want to plant down the mason workbench by the stockpile. Somebody should do that for me. Good planting happening here. Mel Bendel. So Mel hasn't quite leveled up. I think my other farmer should be pretty close to leveling. Where are you? He should be quite close to level three. Yeah, not too far. Okay, so we have this ready now. Which will mean we can do stuff like... Um, stone benches and stuff like that. Let me have a look here. Is there anything in particular we could craft? Probably mainly just walls. I'm gonna want you to keep uh, four of these walls in inventory and one of these gate fences in inventory and then I'll set up a harvest task actually real quick. Where is the mine tunnel? I'm gonna want to do a slice and then I'll do another 12 by 12 and that should supply enough stone to keep him busy. 
Speaking of stone, I actually might build my next house out of stone. So let's get to work on that. Um, I'm going to want a pathway up through here. So let's uh, let's start designing. We might not finish it this this episode, but we'll we'll, we'll definitely get it started. Uh, I like the idea of having a little bit of a pathway up here. So we'll 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 get that started and we'll go out to this to this point there. And then sort of similarly, I'm going to want one that goes up this way. And we'll stop there. And then we can sort of start seeing the, how the definitions of our town is coming out. Um, so let's grab the building layout. I like the idea of having things a little bit spaced. Away from things. So about here. And we'll, 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 we'll muck around with this until we get it to somewhere that we like. Um, this is going to be my mason house, so it's going to be quite similar to the woodworker's house. In a lot of respects. We will have comfy beds here fairly soon, but I'm going to stick down a regular old bed in this corner with a wooden dresser. Okay. And then I'm also going to add a table for one. Right there with a... Oh, you know what? I want to get rid of this. We'll just put that there and act like it never happened. Um, I'm going to put down a stone table because I actually... I've messed up here already. So let me remove this. Remove this building because I was going to build it out of stone because it's a stonemason's house, right? Um, so we're going to go in here. We're going to go foundations. We're going to grab floor. And I think I will do just a nice uh, regal blue. Seems like a good color. Oh, we got some alerts. Trader will be back in 16 hours. Did somebody level up or something? Perhaps. You know, I'm going to pause the game so I don't miss any of that stuff. I'm going to design a new building. I'm going to go with Regal Blue for the floor out of stone. Um, the exact position, I want three back and about... We'll do 10 by 10 just to get started. That's a nice, you know, basic side. Ooh, Regal Blue is a bit strong. How about a mid-grey instead? Yeah, mid-grey. Mid-grey is nice. Or we could even do, like, Congo Brown, but we'll do a mid-grey kind of house. Um... So let's get started on the furniture. We're going to stick down a regular old bed. We're going to have a regular old uh, dresser. Although we could put a fine dresser down. Let's do that. No, we're, we want to sell those. We'll put it down as a regular wooden dresser. Uh, we're going to want a stone table. We're going to want a stone chair. This is a mason after all. I'm going to space them out properly this time. Uh, I will add a little wooden bench here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to slice off a little bit of this house. I'm actually going to move these things over a bit because I want to want to add a little bit of, you know, a little bit of detail to make it look nice. So I'm going to slice off this. Uh, let's see if I can get that to properly delete. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this and I'm going to want to make it a what was it? What was it for this house? Was it five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it was five. I'm going to add a little outcrop here of, say, five. And I tell you what, I will move it all back one as well. So it's going to be 11 by 11. Let me see if I can just get this floor to come out. So this should be 11 long now. Yep. And then that five should be centered with three on each side. Okay, that worked out just fine. And then... I will, um, I'll move this table back a little. I tell you what, I will actually move the table out this way for a little bit more room. Um, I'm going to give him a writing desk. I think that's, that, that could be a cool little thing. Give him a little writing desk to work on. Um, let me see if I can find a good setup here. I'm mainly just doing this so that my people have to craft extra stuff to, uh, get their houses, you know, get their skills up and stuff, and plus, you know, it adds a bit to the game. I like to think it does. Then I'll add some extra floor here, or the extra little outcrop. So that should be that, right? Yeah, but I don't want the walls to be made out of wood. I want the walls to be made out of stone as well. And I suppose that we could do like this kind of stone, or yeah, and that, that looks quite nice. Uh, but I think I will make the columns out of stone as well, and we'll use, like, a 
that sort of thing. No, that, that looks kind of out of place. We'll use maybe like a dark stone. Mmm, yeah, that looks really good. Uh, stone tunnel door. Uh, we're not going to want that, but we are going to want a wooden door. We could use a fine wooden door. Yeah, let's stick a fine wooden door on here. Um, we'll add a bit of road. There's no harm in doing that. Um, so we've added a wooden door. I'm going to want some windows and stuff and some decorations. So this is a mason's sign. Um, I'll put the mason's sign right here on the edge of the house like it is on the other one. Uh, I'll put a fine lamp as well. You know, he deserves a fine lamp. We'll give him two fine lamps. Make him, make him feel good. I, you know, usually I'd sell them, but hey, whatever. I'll, uh... I'll do it just this once. I'll do a tall window at his eatery. No, we'll do a wide window at his eating, at his place of eating. So he can see out into the town as he eats. Um, and then I'm going to want another window here. If I could get these walls to show up a little more solidly. There, now I can see them. Uh, I want a window here, but I think it might have to be like that. There, and that looks nice. Now I'm also going to want to add some stuff here onto the side, but I will get the roof going here. Uh, I'm going to go... I could do like really tall sort of stuff. I could do an offset. No, I'll do a minus one offset. I want it like nice. I want it hugged. Make it look like that. Yeah, that looks really cool. Although I could... Oh. No, 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 no. Um. Like this. Yeah, that looks kind of cool, right? Oh, did I accidentally delete my windows? I did. All right, let me go in here and grab some new windows. I'll stick those in there. I tell you what, right? We spent quite a bit of time working on this house. So I'm going to call this an end to this episode. And we'll finish off this house next next episode. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember, if you want to see more from me, you can subscribe to my channel to get notified when new videos come out. If you want to directly support my channel, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to give me your feedback, go ahead and leave a comment. Other than that, I want to thank you very much for watching. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.